Hey guys, I'm Kenny and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a slick back ponytail. I started with my hair already wet and it's slightly detangled. Because my hair is so thick, I have to break it into small sections, so this is the first section I just go straight across the back. Now I apply my Shea Moisture. This will make my detangling process way easier and it also curls my hair at the ends which will look really good on the ponytail. Here I use my wide tooth comb. It just simply divides all my product and it detangles my hair and then following I use my brush which helps enhance my curls. Now I start applying the gel, I really try to get it on the roots because that's the part that I want to be the most flat. After my eco styling gel, I apply Gorilla Snot because I want this to be as slick as possible boo. Now I take my hard brush. This is the hardest brush there is. This is, you know them brushes that like scrape your forehead and all, you feel the burn? That's what it is. So I take the hardest brush because it makes it nice and flat. Okay, so when I do my ponytail, this is not the ponytail that it stays in, so I don't do it very tight. It's very loose and it's able to change if I needed to because I have a whole bunch of hair left to do. Now you just section off a new section. I have a lot, so I'm going to fast forward to being almost done, basically. 2,000 years later. Okay, so this is my last section and I just go through the same process, detangling with my Shea Moisture and then I put both gels down as I did before. Now that the final section is done, I can take out the ponytail and get ready to put it all together to make one, which is why I made a loose ponytail so that now I can put it in a final big ponytail. Right here, I'm just fixing my part. I wanted it to be a bit on the further side, if that makes sense. So I just went ahead and changed that really quick. Thank you. 
Now I'm getting my Eco Styling Gel and I'll get the other ones later and I'm just putting it on top now that I have a new part and just to make sure that I have the perfect amount to make sure that this is as slick as possible. Now I have my Gossipy glue. I did forget to mention this in the products when I showed the list in the beginning, but I just spray it all over. This will really add that final touch that will harden it and make sure that it stays. Then I bring out that scrape your forehead brush and I just brush and brush and brush until I make sure that everything is flat and in place. Finally guys, the moment we have all been waiting for. My arms are extremely tired, but now we can finally put the ponytail into place. Just to be perfect, I do bring back out my brush just to make sure everything is laid flat and I brush it into the ponytail motion to make sure that everything is flat and laid down. I do want this style to last me a couple days, so I am going that extra out of my way to make sure that everything is done correctly. This is my soft brush, I'm just using it to make sure that everything's flat. Now I'm just paying extra attention to what would be my edges right here. I normally don't do my edges one because I'm not really that great at them. And my edges, my quote unquote baby hairs or whatever, aren't really baby hairs. They're pretty long, so I just tuck them and let them do what they do. So now I'm just doing that and making sure that nothing will rise up as the day goes on. Now I wrap up my hair. I normally leave it wrapped for a couple hours. The longest I'll leave it is a day, like overnight. So I use my head wrap. I don't know, I actually have no idea what that's called. And I also use a bandana or a silk scarf.
now I just let it sit and we will be back when the couple hours are over. 2,000 years later. Uh, look at her, look at her. We done guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.